Hello, Brian Merkel, Microbiology and Immunology at UW-Green Bay, and we are here to talk about why COVID-19 matters to you. Comparing and contrasting so-called natural immunity when people become infected, what does that mean versus vaccine-induced immunity? So I thought we could compare and contrast these two scenarios. These vaccines have proven themselves time and time again to be highly safe. Millions upon millions of people around the world have been vaccinated. Vaccines, at their best, what they do is reduce the severity of illness, period. And these vaccines do just that. Vaccines, that is a controlled environment. You are exposed to a certain dose, not of the virus, but just a piece of the virus. That's part of the reason why it's as safe as it is. We target the specific area of the virus we need to target through vaccines. Natural immunity, on the other hand, is not a controlled environment. We cannot predict with a great deal of certainty at all what your outcome will be. Furthermore, when you become infected, you in fact have an infection. You're giving the virus now an opportunity to mutate and develop into a variant. You yourself now are a vessel to infect other people. Compared to a vaccine, you are not infected when you become vaccinated. Should you become infected, your illness generally will be relatively mild. And furthermore, your ability to infect others because the vaccine is giving the virus a hard time, which means you're not gonna have a severe illness, which also means your ability to infect others will be greatly reduced as well. It is without question that we should all choose vaccinations over this idea of I'm going to allow nature to take its course when we cannot predict with any certainty or very uh, much certainty at all what your outcome is going to be, including having long-term complications from COVID.